Well, the key word here is alleged and or allegedly. So allegedly, Brian is accused of many horrific things. This is breaking news, so I want to be careful. These are allegations. So what is occurring? What has happened? Okay, house cleaning. Sorry. Please sign up for Examining Kubrick. Please give it a chance. Please consider supporting the channel via Patreon and other methods. Okay, what has happened? Well, a Jane Doe is alleging that Brian was not a perfect gentleman in their dealings and intercourses. I'm trying to keep this as YouTube-friendly as possible. But allegedly, Brian and the client had a relations which were not good and turned bad. And apparently he abused his power as a lawyer representing the client. And who is Brian? Well, and wait for the end because this gets even more shocking by the minute. So Brian has represented several anti-Scientology lawsuits and the victims of Scientology in various lawsuits. He's been featured before. This is not a new person. In fact, he was part of the, yes, the Danny Masterson case. So he's helping the people suing Danny Masterson. And apparently he may be guilty of, well, not identical, but similar things. Now, again, remember these are allegations. So the Jane Doe could be lying. It could be exaggerating what happened. If he is guilty, this is definitely devastating. And not just to the Scientology, anti-Scientology debate. Brian is on the board of Child USA. And if you're not familiar with that, you know who else is on Child USA? Mike Rinder. Yes, the redoubtable Mike Rinder, the infamous coup d'etat man behind the Aftermath Foundation. He sits on the same board as Brian. Now, one be careful, Child USA is actually technically controlled by women. And the board of directors, depending on your count, are 16 to 20 people. And Brian is one of them. So, again, want to be careful. Definitely having the OSA man on the board of directors is suspicious. And now we have Brian. But, again, good or bad, Mike Rinder's not a lawyer. He's not a legal theorist. He's not a legal philosopher. So, it doesn't seem like he and Brian have many ties. Again, believe me, I would run with that. There don't seem to be deep ties between Brian and Rinder. However, it is still alarming that Child USA seems to attract a certain group of people. Now, again, these are allegations. It could be he is totally innocent. There's no problem. Child USA is fine. But I do think overall we are at a crossroads. This just keeps happening over and over and over again. The Aftermath Foundation, Child USA. And yes, we got to say it, Aaron with his SPTV foundation it just seems overall these charities and foundations over and over and over again are there for the self-interest of the board of directors and major elites they just do not really care about who they should be serving of course some people are helped but really that's not the main goal and aaron has a very suspiciously corrupt board himself and i won't name names but one person on that board allegedly is in control of another foundation with 10 million dollars so yeah, the lesson for today is power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. But I think, unfortunately, some people did not do some double-checking with Brian. Brian, again, allegedly, is the victim of child abuse himself. Because you wonder, well, how did he end up on Child USA? Because he's actually a survivor of child abuse. So, yeah, this is just a very sad day all around. Uh, my own lesson would be plague on all these houses. They're all corrupt. The Aftermath people, Child USA people, Aaron's people, Aaron, Brian, they're all corrupt. The only question now is how corrupt is each person? But this whole thing is corrupt. Too many of these lawsuits against Scientology, unfortunately, are corrupt. Only a few of them, a very small amount, like Kyle's mother and her search for justice. That's a genuine search for justice. But too many of these lawsuits on both sides, on all these sides, it's just a very corrupt system overall. It's just very depressing. And even if he's found totally innocent, it just shows that that's where we are now. We've got bigger evil, David Miscavige, and lesser evils, Child USA, Aftermath, and Aaron and his foundation. It's just a depressing world we live in where we have greater evil and lesser evil, but we seem to just have evil all around and very few heroes to look up to. It is what it is.